What is up, Diecast Collectors? This is OBB, the Diecast News Guy, and welcome everybody to another NASCAR Diecast review on this YouTube channel. And by the way, how'd you guys like the new introduction? Decided to change things up a little bit. I mean, I know you guys do like the OG one, but heck, uh, <laughs> um, just trying to mix things up. So I hope you guys uh, enjoy that nice little introduction. And as uh, now, we're getting on to the good shit. And this is one of the newest releases that I just picked up from my good buddies at Bench Racing Diecast, which, by the way, check the link down below. And no! Before you think about it, guys, it is not a pornographic site. It is a diecast dealer website. I even have the business card right here just to show you that I'm not bullshitting you because myself and the owner, Keith, are not bullshitters. So check them out. If you guys probably saw my latest haul video from Bench Racing, you probably know I was playing to review this diecast sooner or later because I got a lot of requests on this one. And, it, and this last one they had in stock at this place. It is on... Little Wrangler's favorite, Alex Bowman's in his 2020 uh, Truck Hero Chevy Goods Jimmy Johnson throwback. Yes, sir. B, just ignore that nice little paint chip right there. This is a beauty, guys. I mean, when we talked about, you know, when, when, uh, when I mean, we, we all kind of had a film we were going to see a Jimmy Johnson throwback in one of these Southern 500 races. We finally did, and actually, we actually had three, actually, but this is the second one I'm reviewing as, uh, I don't know, I'm still thinking about getting the Byron card. They had the Byron car in stock, um, but I don't know if you guys really want me to review that, then maybe I'll pick it up again when I visit Bench again. But anyways, let's go ahead and unbox that boy, and let's take a close look at the Alex Bowman 2020 throwback car. Alrighty, guys, we got this diecast out of this box, and my goodness gracious, this paint scheme is just beautiful. I mean, it's a damn shame Jimmy Johnson never uh, carried this paint scheme in his final season uh, with Lowe's. I mean, could you just imagine that? I mean, I did appreciate, you know, the two throwbacks that they ran um, in 2018. But, heck, um, how appropriate for Alex Moment to carry such a legendary, legendary scheme. I mean, hell, this is, I mean... For anybody who's new to NASCAR, but if you, this is definitely a scheme you should know. For they, 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 this is like NASCAR 101 shit right here. Like you, you got to know what this paint scheme is. Like this is, you know, the goat of NASCAR. All right, or one of the three goats. You got Dale Earnhardt, Richard Petty, Dale Earnhardt Sr., and then Jimmy Johnson. All three seven-time champions. Which by the way, I still got to read the Jimmy Johnson. Um, throwback car as well so um but i just had to review this one because this is just beautiful guys i mean of course it's it's based off of jimmy johnson's you know low scheme that he was undefeated in in 2006 2007 and 2008 yeah can't get any more better than that guys but the blue on this thing is absolutely gorgeous the yellow is nice and bright and it's a nice day glow yellow it looks like regular yellow on camera but Goodness gracious, I hate that paint chip right there. Uh, I think the only th they absolutely nailed this paint scheme. I mean, they don't have the blue cheater trim like they did on the Chase Elliott throwback. Um, which you know that is accurate to the race. And this car actually has the playoff uh, spoiler, which I gotta admit, guys, even though the original scheme had a black wing and a black spoiler, that silver spoiler looks absolutely amazing with that uh, with the with the metallic. Um, silver that is beautiful guys but yeah the silver's metallic the blue's metallic bright day glow yellow everything that you love about this car just is just screams excellence right here but i think the only thing that really stands out that i don't really like is the lumar logo i mean the exalta logo kind of hides a little bit but that blue outline where the lumar logo is not a big fan of that but you know at least the numbers are in the right place <laughs> Yeah, Alex Bowman actually did, uh, he pretty much kicked ass at Darlington, guys. What, like two out of three? As you guys know, last year we ran three Darlington races. Oh, goodness gracious, that paint chip on the B post. <clears throat> and there's another paint chip right below um, that side skirt. Oh, why now? I can't even be upset with these anymore. This is what we're going to be affecting now. Well, actually now, these things are $9 now. So, yippee! <laughs> this thing actually has the Camaro logos and... Wait a minute, is it just me or is that ZL1 logo like really, and I mean really faded? Are you guys seeing this shit? The ZL1 logo is there, but it's like very, very faded. What on earth? Well, that is fucking strange. <laughs> Alrighty then, I have seen Stranger Things, but yeah, that right there is one of them. That is for certain. So, yeah. But yeah, Bowman guys, I mean... It's going to be a make or break year for this guy. I mean, Henry Motorsports really, uh, for 2021, really has been stepping up. As you guys know, Chase Elliott is your 2020 champion. And also, uh, could have been your Clash winner. But, hey, you know, <laughs> they, shit happens. And, of course, you know, Kyle Larson and William Byron already have a win under the belts this season. And, uh, heck, 
Only time will tell if, if Bowman's going to be the next guy, man. I mean, um, he's had, you know, some pretty consistent slash inconsistent luck with the 48. But I can tell you what, guys, better watch out for him because he is probably going to grab a win or maybe two, possibly, because, I mean, heck, he's he's the driver to watch out for Henry Motorsports, guys, considering, you know, I believe he only has a one-year contract, if I'm not mistaken, with Ally, even though Ally said that they were going to be uh, continuing their sponsorship. But that's all another story. So, yeah, uh, this paint scheme, guys, is just absolutely beautiful. It is very reminiscent to the car we do a side second comparison on, which I am planning to review this car as well, because who doesn't love COT diecast? Looking at you, Garrett. <laughs> but here is the uh, throwback. A perfect, per I love it when we have throwbacks, but this is uh, basically throwing back to Jimmy Johnson, Tales of 6, Tales 7, Tales 8 car. But in with me, I have the Tales 7 COT car. That I got also for bench racing, so I find that pretty appropriate. He also had the COI version too, so I mean, heck, might have to go back and, uh, you know, steal that possibly. But look at that, guys. I mean, the Gen 6 car definitely is a much more better looking car, in my opinion. I mean, a lot, lot of people, there are some people out there like, well, I prefer uh, the wings on these cars. You know, that's your opinion, and I will respect you for that. But, goodness gracious, these things are ugly. I'm sorry. But the diecast quality is absolutely flawless. I think that's the only thing that beats, uh, Lionel up in the grave is the diecast quality. I mean, look at this, guys. Looks can be deceiving, and then you got this right here, just absolutely fantastic. I've been willing to pay nine bucks for quality like that, and practically zero paint chips. But at least the wings won't fall off on the Lionel cars, because <laughs> you know everything's all metal, not plastic. And yeah, right, but yeah, it is pretty much an exact carbon copy of the uh I, I mean as you can see the body styles are a little bit different but you know paint scheme wise pretty much exactly the same i really do appreciate truck hero for you know matching out the outline because you know lowe's outline that matches with the lowe's logo and the truck hero did the same thing with uh this outline i mean it does look kind of weird with all these blue gaps right here but you know what guys that's a damn good e for effort now this is the main reason why i love the throwback schemes um oh i just knows that right there that is uh huh it should be a little bit more blue, but it kind of like the blue extends all the way to the splitter, but here it just stops right here in the middle of the grill. Well, that's kind of odd. That, that looks kind of wonky now. Now I think about it. I mean, it, I mean it, it's almost accurate, almost, but like you just miss a little more blue. But hey, like I said, E for effort though, am I right? This is a beautiful paint scheme, guys. I would definitely pick this car up, especially since Alex Bowman I actually ran pretty well in two to three Donaldson races. Um, Heck, when we came back from that long ass break, which hard believe it's already been a year now since you know that weirdness happened, you know, what like a whole month of no NASCAR. I mean, yeah, we had the off season, but like that was like towards springish when you know last spring when this crazy shit happened and the world changed forever. <laughs> but um, yeah, we came back to that race and what like uh, Hamlin and Harvick won, uh, Ham Hamlin won won the Donaldson races, and then Harvick won the other one. And the one that Harvick won in, uh, Bowman ran pretty well. He started second and finished second, so. Can't say about the uh, second Darlington race, though, because, <laughs> uh, yeah, he, uh, <laughs> yeah, he, I believe, what, ran, like, close to the 20th, uh, probably 18th or 17th, if I'm not mistaken, but he ran pretty consistent at the Southern 500 with this paint scheme, guys. It almost felt like Jimmy Johnson was back out on the track in this paint scheme, <laughs> considering, you know, yeah, Jimmy's 48 car since, you know, hasn't really been that competitive since 2017, so, hey. Is what it is, though. It's unfortunate to see uh, a, a, a great champion like that just, you know, hit the turmoils. Almost kind of makes me feel like that 2018 probably should have been his last year. But, hey, whatever, though. Hey, but, hey, we're going to be seeing this uh, bad boy in IndyCar, guys. So, I'm looking forward to see Jimmy Johnson. And uh, if you guys want me to do some IndyCar diecast reviews, I still got some 2020 cars to review. Because uh, you guys know the IndyCar season is just around the corner. So, feel free to comment below um, on that shit right there. And, yeah, like I said, beautiful paint scheme. Definitely a great 10 out of 10. Um, I could probably get it all sorts of numbers as I can, but just flat out beautiful paint scheme. Looking forward to the Brett Moffitt truck that's going to be coming out soon based on the scheme as well that he ran in Phoenix. And anyways, guys, this has been OBB, the Diecast News Guy. Thank you guys so much for watching this Diecast review of the Alex Bowman 2020 Chevy Goods Truck Hero. Don't have to throw back for Jimmy Johnson's uh, three-time championship car. And until we meet again, guys, this has been OBB. Catch you guys next time on another NASCAR Diecast review.